Hi, I'm Jimmy Wales, and I'm here to interview our closing speaker here today at Webcom Montreal, Tara Hunt. Uh, how are you? Good. Yourself, yeah. Jimmy? Uh, very good, very good. Uh, so tell me, uh, what did you talk about today, and um, what did you have to impart to this audience? Well, the title of my uh, talk was, I'm eating a bologna sandwich and, and other such posts that should blow your mind. So if I'm eating a bologna sandwich, should I tweet about that or well, just keep quiet? Well, I think the, the, you know, the, it was meant to be provocative, of course, the title. But uh, the, the base point is, is that uh, a lot of people talk about all the banal sort of garbage that people tweet about. And my argument was that this is actually, these are ways that we connect with each other through these social networks. This is how we build rapport and trust. This is, this is part of how we share ourselves as human beings and then other people can start to get a good idea of who we are. Um, and at the end of the day, it's like the really important foundation of it. Sure, yeah, there's a lot of interesting articles that somebody may post and get uh -huh. a lot of use out of. But without right. that context around it, the human context, that, uh, that those articles wouldn't even exist. Right. Yeah, well, that's certainly very true. Yeah. So, uh, well, so I've known you, I guess, for five years or something yeah. now, many years. And there's a question I've always wanted to ask you. Oh. <laughs> I never got the nerve, but I'm here uh, live. Your, your, your personal website, your blog, is called horsepigcow.com. What's with the farm animals? <laughs> Tell us about that. Okay, so, uh, yes, the farm animals actually come from my uh, saying that my mom has. Yeah. So she would be, when she forgets somebody's name, which she often does, because my mom, she, she's a multi-plane kind of thinker, she'll say, John, Jacob, Horse pig cow, Jimmy. <laughs> and so I that's don't, it. And I've asked her where she got it from. Yeah. She has no clue. No clue. It's it's absolutely uh, ridiculous, but it seems to be what grounds her. So when I was when I was thinking about a blog, mm -hmm. you know, seven eight years ago, yeah. um, I, she had you recently mm -hmm. used the phrase. I had asked her about it. She didn't know right. what was up herself. So it was the first thing that came into my brain uh -huh. when it came right. to calling That's my great. blog something. I love and it. Yeah, it's just sort of yeah, it's been good. Uh huh. So uh, of course, when I met you, you were in uh, San Francisco, mm -hmm. uh, and you had uh, set up this fabulous co-working space. It was called Citizen Space. Citizen Space, yeah. Yeah, really fabulous, very innovative idea. Um, and now you've moved from uh, San Francisco to Montreal. Yeah. Uh, so tell me, what are you working on these days? Um, you're doing consulting, I believe, and no, all actually, no. Actually, I stopped consulting. Oh, okay. Quite a, I stopped consulting. So all those potential customers, forget no, it. No, Too late. No, done. Yeah. Uh, so I stopped consulting quite a while ago, and I actually went into the public speaking realm. Oh, okay. Because I was uh -huh. getting so much work, uh, public speaking, that oh, it was okay. hard, for, which is awesome because I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't that's know great. Uh -huh. What I, I just I have this whole thing when I get up on stage. It's like I love my, I'm in love with my content. I don't even see an audience there. Uh -huh. I just, I just oh, that's fabulous. go for it. And people tend to really like my kind of uh -huh. kooky, enthusiastic, passionate style. <laughs> so that works. Uh, so I was getting a lot of speaking gigs. Uh -huh. um, but when I moved to Montreal, my mm. core focus was really to try to get my startup that I've been, it's been rattling around ah, and bugging me in my brain yeah. for a couple of years. Uh -huh. uh, let's get that off the ground. And serendipity would have it. I actually met two people here that uh, wanted to work with me on oh, that startup. So we, we have a dev site with a really broken web app. Okay. <laughs> that's well on its uh -huh. way to not being broken. Okay. And I'm very excited. So this is about not released it. yet. This is something that yeah. is sort of uh, so we're hoping within, building the interest here. Yeah, and, exactly. Yeah, great. Well, it's called Schwaup, S H W O W P, uh -huh. the wow in shop. Ah, and it's all around uh, giving back. Uh, shoppers, their shopping history data, uh -huh. and so the idea is that you know, like Mastercard and Visa and eBay and Google and everybody else is collecting a lot of data on us and then being able to use it to their advantage. Right. So, what would happen if we gave people their own data and gave them uh -huh. tools to be able to start to leverage uh -huh. that? And I don't know what the answer is quite yet. We have some uh -huh. ideas of things that people can do. But that's what we're, we're basically doing. Uh, no, I love that. I love things where uh, it's about building a little piece of infrastructure 
and allowing people social tools to do things with it. And you yeah. never know what they're going to do with it. Exactly. Uh, I think when people, when I first saw Twitter, for example, I thought of it as a little way of communicating with a small group of friends. And it didn't occur to me, because I'm stupid, that it could be this thing where people have two million followers or yeah. things like that. I don't and think so, anybody could really and perceive And so that. the same thing for what yeah. you're doing. That's very, very, very interesting. Yeah, cool. yeah. yeah, well, I'm, I'm really uh -huh. hoping, I, I'm really hoping that uh, mm -hmm. it's, it turns out to be as powerful of a tool as Twitter is and, and, uh -huh. and, others, and other tools like Flickr and right. blogs and stuff like that. Because I really do think that as we're democratizing things, mm -hmm. um, the biggest question that keeps coming up is, well, our data, you know, right. what can we do? Uh -huh. All these people are doing all sorts of stuff with it, but uh -huh. how can we transport it around? How can we use this to our own advantages? Right. Uh -huh. And so we're taking just a small piece of the pie, the shopping part, but right. I think it's a powerful piece and it's a necessary. It sounds, sounds fabulous. So, so what else? So if people want to uh, read more, of course, I mentioned horse... Horse pig, uh, pig cow. cow. Yeah. Uh, is that the primary place people should go, or what should they uh, what should Ms. they read? From Miss you? Rogue on Twitter. Miss Rogue on Twitter, is, of course. I spend yes. a lot of time on Twitter yeah. for uh -huh. sure. Um, yeah, that's probably where that, I spend. That's the core of it. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah my my poor blog since Twitter has come along. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Has so made, made me very lazy. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a very good blogger myself, so I totally get that. Yeah. Uh, and then, so you're doing a lot of uh, speaking at a lot of conferences. Yeah. Uh, do you have anything upcoming so people can know where to find you? Or and the Pacific Builders Association uh -huh. uh, in San Francisco coming up, and then uh, I'm actually speaking. I'm really excited about the cre uh, Credit Union Conference, uh, uh -huh. International Association of Credit Unions. I think it is. Okay. Uh -huh. In Vegas coming up right Ooh, before my birthday. Vegas baby. Yeah. Right like a day before my birthday. Oh, perfect. You're so, set. Yeah. It's, exactly. Yeah. But I am also excited about the content because I've uh -huh. been in. in really interested in the idea of social capital, leveraging social capital, mm -hmm. and how that actually starts to shift and change our idea of economics. So, right. Uh -huh. So I'm going to be... No, and certainly the I think the, the banking industry really needs a fresh look at okay. their customers and how yeah. to behave in a responsive fashion after the fiasco they've had. So Absolutely. I think that should be really great. Yeah. yeah. Ah, well, super. Well, it's been... I missed you. I know. It's great. Well, you... Yeah, you jet-setting all over the world. Well... Yeah, yeah. You are too, but uh, yeah, and I've never been to Montreal before, so yeah. it's been it's been really great catching up. Well, so I hope you're enjoying it. I am. It's yeah. very nice, and um, well, I hope to see you more often. Sounds great. Super. All right.